Hey guys, I'm gonna play a little bit of Bro Force for you. Oh god, I already died. Well, that was it. Thanks. That's it for this Let's Play. I'll, I'll talk to you guys next time. Now, right, but actually, um, no. new characters, crazy new characters who are not good. I don't even know who that was. To be honest with you, Neo, Neo is, he'll redeem me for five seconds, and then I'll be machete. Anyway, um, I just wanted to talk briefly about uh, Holly Fisher, who most of you probably not have never heard of because most of you are probably not crazy. Uh, fringe left wing nuts who just generally dislike anyone who isn't them <laughs> because that's basically the whole story of Holly Fisher. She uh, she is famous for um, standing in front of a Hobby Lobby after the recent Supreme Court decision and which we talked about in the last episode while we played Broforce, so make sure you check that out. Um, and essentially, she stood in front of a Hobby Lobby in a pro-life t-shirt and um, was holding a Chick-fil-A cup, which is tantamount to uh, treason, according to... Uh, I guess everyone on the fringe left. Die! 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 Dumb duck. Okay, I think he's good. But um, that that I guess made her internet infamous, famous. Conservatives love her. Liberals absolutely despise her. Well, fringe liberals at least. I don't think. Hopefully, some of the good liberals out there that I know. Don't hate this woman simply because she, she's not liberal. Um, but the now, in order to sort of up her troll game, uh, which was already at high levels, clearly, she has taken a picture with um, herself in front of an American flag, kind of like this. Um, holding a Bible and a sweet AR-15, I must say. A very nice upper on, on the AR that she's holding. Um, kind of want to get that for my... Kind of want to get the uh, whatever quad rail she has on that for my next AR build. But anyway, that uh, is the entirety of the picture. He's just holding a Bible and a gun in front of a American flag like a badass, but that's apparently enough to make her literally um, tantamount to a terrorist, according to, uh, again, crazy fringe leftists. So uh, there's a picture going around that basically says, uh, it's, it's a picture of her and then a picture of an Islamic terrorist who's also holding a gun and a, and a Quran in front of a um, Islamic terrorist flag. I'm not Hezbollah, I'm not really sure what flag she's, this other woman is standing in front of. And it says, hey, what's the difference? Well, for the love of God, if you can't figure out the difference, please, please, for the sake of society, check yourself into a local mental institution. Have someone there explain it to you because it's not complicated. One is an American housewife who's married to an American soldier who has three children who has never threatened violence against anyone in her entire life, as far as we can tell, and certainly isn't threatening any violence in the two pictures of her doing nothing but making fringe leftists angry. Whereas the other one is apparently an actual Islamic terrorist who killed herself in a suicide attack uh, in order to try and, and take the lives of uh, <clears throat> the infidels. Um, in her case, I believe it was uh, Jews. So, uh, if you can't figure out the difference between those two people, for the love of God, please seek out help. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time.